During his 30s, Murakami was a heavy smoker. Drenched in the smell of cigarettes, his nails and fingertips were yellow, and he was throwing out nearly three packs a day. After his newfound resolve to write a novel, Murakami felt like he had stumbled upon a stroke of luck. He didn't want this good opportunity to end up like some free ticket to a one-time show. So he wondered how he could make the most of this new situation to keep it on his side. After closing the jazz bar, Murakami's habit of being seated at the table for a long time affected his weight and his health, especially since he is of a mesomorphic constitution. So he bought running shoes and started running around his neighborhood a little bit every day. Soon after, to help fuel his new running habit, he quit smoking. His reason for running was to fulfill his small wish to keep writing for as long as possible. However, the habit also allowed Murakami to gain some deeper insight into himself. He found that the internal discipline and rhythmic repetition he had acquired by running helped cultivate his writing ability. And after some time, he realized that his ability as a writer gradually increased. Murakami believes the three most important abilities of a novelist consist of talent, concentration, and persistence. Although talent can be acquired naturally, dedicated practice and persistence are what fuel it. Some people might complain of growing bored from practicing a repetitive routine. Murakami believes that the smallest lasting action can foster the most creativity. So, how can we achieve great results from small actions? This is where the motto, followed by many groups in the United States, comes to mind. One day at a time. Murakami says, if you persistently keep at doing something, at some point, something is sure to change inside of you. It certainly takes time for it to happen, so it is important to be able to wait patiently for it and allow yourself to adapt to the routine. Murakami quotes Isaac Dennison, author of Out of Africa. I write little by little every day, without hope or despair. Murakami describes his usual routine. I wake up early, make coffee, and face my desk for four to five hours. If I write 20 manuscripts per day, I can write 3,600 a month. If I do this for six months, I can write 3,600 manuscripts. In fact, the first draft of Kafka on the Shore totaled 3,600 manuscripts, and I lost count of how many times we revised it. This is a work that requires persistence, but it's not that painful for me. I like hammering sentences, constantly changing the expression and order of words. I go through the hard process and write long novels, and when a book comes out, I never regret it. I never look back through my release titles. I don't think I could improve on them if I were to rewrite them, because I know I did my best. The persistence of small repetition fuels dedication, and the result is greater satisfaction. People who are afraid of small changes usually make excuses as to why they cannot take action. They tend to rationalize this, saying, I'm just lazy. At the end, our biggest enemy is ourself. We should overcome the fear of making small changes. This will fuel our success. Much fruition has come from Murakami's random decision to write a novel. I believe that the smallest changes will bring about the biggest results in life. No matter how trivial the change may be, after six months, one year, three years, or ten, something will definitely have shifted and come to fruition. We can achieve this by challenging ourselves to push beyond our limits. This sort of lucky occurrence does not appear as a free ticket, Murakami comments. The final thought I want to share here is that I don't admire the way Murakami runs. I respect the large outcomes which he has achieved from keeping this small, steady habit of running 
a little bit every day. Among the small habits I've acquired, perhaps the most beneficial and valuable is that of running. Now is the time to get out of your head. You can create what you want. What changes are you thinking of making?